What is going on everyone, it's Hunter here and back again with another Minecraft modding tutorial and in this modding tutorial I'm gonna take a look at how do you make your own custom crafting in Minecraft so it's a very simple technique that we can all use easily so let's get jump to the video right now here in my lab and I have installed this one room here which is quite cool let's, let's just get to see what's inside oh a crafting room yep I've made my own crafting room and I've prepared some ingredients there create the first recipe that I know and this is stick with a diamond sword which makes this custom spawn eggs which is not very very unique or useful but yeah this is just a custom crafting. Maybe it's too expensive, but it's okay, right, cow? Yeah, 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 yeah I know. Okay, so I've created the next recipe, which is the furnace recipe. You can create the furnace recipe in mod B. As you see here, we got the same spawn blue cow item. And the next recipe is the shape recipe, which if you remember this previous recipe we got this stick and the diamond swords why is it like this well it's shapeless you can move the stick around you can move the diamond sword around and it will still create the same result however with this shape recipe you have to follow the exact patterns that the mothers make in order to craft the item so let's just put this in second side and you see there we got another spawn blue so if you want to follow along with this custom recipe tutorial don't forget to subscribe and leave a like because i'm gonna create a full series of minecraft moddings and just stick for this video to the end and i will show you the three ways of adding custom recipes into your minecraft so here is the code for the mod as you see here this is the exact same of the previous modding tutorial but instead i added this function init recipes and i'm sorry guys today my mouse and keyboard doesn't work so i'm just use touch screen today and i make this custom function you can make your own custom function very easily by typing function and then your function name and then a brackets like this curly brackets and you're done you can put any arguments or anything you want and you as you see here I just created a function without any arguments and then every single of this function is executed so I've put I've, I've called the init recipes here so that when the word loads this function gets executed it's just a thing to make everything neat you can put these functions for creating custom recipes outside the function that will work too just like this but I'm just phrase putting it here to make everything neater so let me explain you the first way is the shapeless recipes so you can if you go to mod p script and search for item dot add craft recipe it will have four arguments the first one if I go here the first one will be the ID of the result you want and then the second one will be the value at uh, the amount that you will get from crafting it and the last thing is damage value of the items that you will get and then you can create an array 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 is basically is um, let's let's just go down here I'm gonna create an example again so we're gonna far array array is the finite like this with a square brackets yep you can put so much things in it you can put a string you can put anything like numbers as well you can put boolean and this will still works and then you can access the array by using uh, let's just create a variable value 
value will be the first index of a right so it, it's putting right zero so it's getting the first item in the array remember array starts at zero one two three and so on and then what do i do in this function is very simple it's an array filled with six variables you don't have to put exactly six variables it's at least three for one item so it's the input items for the custom crafting so i've added 28010 why is it because 280 is stick with amount of one and data value of zero and then i will add a diamond sword with a uh, amount of one and damage value of zero and then you can add inner items for example i will put stone which is the id of one and amount of one and damage of zero now it's the crafting is stick diamond sword and stone you can find this item id is just cool it minecraft pocket edition item id or minecraft pe item id mcp item id that will work and then the second method of adding it is the furnace recipe it's item dot add furnace recipe and then this is will be the input the first argument will be the input second one will be the first one will be the input ID and the second one will be the output ID and then we will put the one is the amount of the result which you probably will never use more than one and then you put zero in the end for the damage value okay guys so the third method of adding your custom recipe into your minecraft world is item dot add shape recipe as i said shape recipe is something very very unique it allows you to create a recipe that is not like shapeless it's it's very very to follow your pattern that you have defined so to define it the first argument is the output id second argument is the amount of it and the third argument will be the damage value and after that we got the fifth uh, the fourth argument the fourth argument is the pattern and the fifth argument is the definition what do you mean by the pattern is let's define the pattern outside instead so let's see um, i'm gonna create an example the pattern of the crafting table uh, no, no, no it's it's shapeless let's just create um, a pattern for the furnace okay so I got a, a square bracket there. This is different. Square bracket is used to define array. As I said, you you need to fill this array with three string value. Imagine this is your crafting table. You have to put it like this, and then you put three cobblestone on top, two cobblestone with air in the middle, which means empty, and three more cobblestone. This is how do you make a furnace and I'm gonna add a semicolon there and so the definition is the array that contains definitions of your recipe so you define those patterns but the block launcher still doesn't know what C is yeah that's kind of random you can put any words in it any letters like FFF now we got two items in there you can put three items like D, but we haven't defined them so let's define them in the definitions array c is item id4 with damage value of zero and then we'll put a comma there just to make it neat and you see that i defined it one lines that's just to make it simpler to see but to make it neat i'm just gonna put enters there and we can define that d for example diamonds We'll put the ID to to six to six seven, and then we'll put damage value of zero. And then you see there's one more undefined item, so we have to define that like this. We'll call this F. Probably gonna put this as fire. Fire blocks, you know, is still obtainable in your item inventory, 
and that ID is 51. So it's defined every pattern and definition. Just plug it to your function, and then there we go. Block launcher already recognized that. So I just create this for example, so I'll delete it. Hey, welcome back. And it's raining in my lab, but that's okay. The tutorial is now finished, but don't forget to subscribe because I got some amazing Minecraft videos coming up and you will be notified with every single video that I upload just by tapping that little bell icon over there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like as well and I'll see you guys next time.